basically like a little violet in color, pinkish violet. These are no chemicals which is available in our labs. You have to insert a crystal format. You have to put it in water, take a drop, take five drops or three drops, whatever amount is given. You just pour it on the protein rich material that will change it to violet color. Violet color. If it not change, the protein is not available in that. If you I take a mixed food, mixed food, any food, suppose mommy is made a, a saying she made a bonda, which she gives you. Whether it's made from a dal powder or something like that, if you can understand, just open that bonda for this little and say, Mommy, this is not turning violet, that means it's not containing protein. You can fight with your mother. Don't really fight, you can discuss with her, you can explain to her, she'll be more happy to make for you nice bondas and vadas. Right. Go out to the vitamins. This we have to discuss a lot because you have to know about the vitamins. What are the vitamins? What are the minerals that contain in our body? That I will be teaching in the next class. With that, I am going to finish the class for you today. But some of the things I want to tell you: thank God for your food every day. Next thing, thank your parents for a proper diet so long. Even in this lockdown period. They have fed you so beautifully. Thank them for it. And never waste food. Never. Uh, uh, always respect food. Enjoy your milk time. Because I do like this. And keep a proper milk time. Morning breakfast, lunch, evening snacks, and dinner. Every time you maintain a proper time. I could sleep up to 12 o'clock and have my breakfast at 12 30, a lunch at 2 30. It's not good for your system. You will be learning all the systems, body systems. Then, that time also, I will explain what will happen if I'm not going to eat properly. I'll be explaining that this lesson is not over. I have introduced half, I have explained only half of the lessons. I will be explaining this uh, again to you on Monday. Mm. Till then, I'll be giving some uh, work for you. One is just take your lessons. If you've got a book, book or refer any old books, draw four food items, four items. For example, for carbohydrates, four for fats, four for protein, four for vitamins and minerals. After drawing, I will explain which vitamin is present in which thing. Then you can, everything you draw it in a pencil and color it and label it neatly. Make a page into four boxes and draw for carbohydrates, fats, protein, vitamins and minerals. Roughly also you have to give some example. Water, give two example, a page two example. All this you have to draw for this. This is a homework for you. Next Friday, I'll give a test paper which contain maybe a one word answers from the key points what I'm going to give or from what I taught you now. Please copy all this in a notebook and keep it ready to show to me. The last but not the least, the very important announcement. Whatever you have doubts, make a note of it and listen to me again and again. After that, if you have a doubt, go through the book. What I have taught you now. See, deficiency diseases, I'll be teaching you the next class. Till then, you can read the book and refer the books in any other class books if you have this topic. Or you can use your gadgets to go through it. Then, I'm giving you the end of the period my WhatsApp personal number, which you have to use wisely. Please don't reply in this number what I'm going to send it. That number should not be used. I'll be giving another number. Use that number. Thank you and God bless you all. I'm going to talk about a balanced meal. What is a balanced diet or a balanced meal? It should contain energy giving foods, carbohydrates and fat, body building food, protein, health giving food or protective food that is vitamins and minerals. Apart from this, roughage that is fiber that keeps your diet stomach in a proper condition and water that will help you to clean the whole body your diet should contain all this suppose if it is lacking we'll have deficiency diseases what is mean by deficiency it is lack or less of something it can be an element 
or it can be a micronutrient or it can be a macronutrients i already told about this micro what is micro very less amount you need macro larger amount you need now the first disease it's about kwashiorkor kwashiorkor is a disease caused by lack of protein suppose a person affect by kwashiorkor the face will be swollen stunted growth they will not grow like a normal person they have skin diseases they will not be healthy you could uh, identify they, they have got uh, this kwashiorkor suppose if it is affected by kwashiorkor the person has to be given protein rich diet what are the protein rich diet that should include all the dals and pulses and fish egg meat beans all that rich of protein the next disease i am going to talk about marasomes marasomes is a disease lack of food see you could see that person a child is lying down see they is kept the hand on the uh, stomach it means lack of food you could see the rib bones clearly the person will not have a proper growth will not have a normal activity like other children so to rectify all this problem the child has to be fed with a high protein and high carbohydrate diet already you know what are the high protein diet all the carbohydrates it includes with the rice wheat potatoes all this rich of carbohydrate and proteins next is vitamins the first vitamin we are going to take is vitamin a vitamin a deficiency leads to night blindness or eyesight problem sub vision problem that means that we call it as a xerophilomia that is the xerophilomia is a disease connected with eye even they a person lack of vitamin may lose the eyesight that that is called that uh, situation has to be rectified by taking vitamin a rich food that's food is a uh, vitamin animal sources you will have sea fish dairy products dairy product means milk products milk butter uh, curds buttermilk paneer all the milk products can be taken eggs eggs is a very good source of vitamin a and all the bright color vegetables red green orange all these vegetables and fruits are rich in vitamin a and all the greens rich of vitamin a if the person is taken this yeah, they will get vitamin a these sources give lot of vitamin a that's why their vision will be carrots carrots is very special now the next disease is beriberi caused by lack of vitamin b1 the beriberi leads to weakening of muscles and bones see you can see the bend a leg a person affected by beriberi it is lack of b1 vitamin now it has to, he has to be fed with 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 the vitamin b1 sources what are the vitamin rich sources it is found in cereals breads uh, lean meats and milk meats and sea fishes and the red meats milk is a perfect food it contain all the vitamins and minerals okay these sources will help them to have a better muscles and better health next is the vitamin c during this covid 19 you should have lot of vitamin c to have a immune system fight against the diseases that system that will uh, vitamin c helpful for improving the our immune system bleeding of gums shows we are lack of vitamin c suppose you need lot of vitamin c if your gum is bleeding you should take citrus fruits that includes oranges and lemon green peppers strawberries tomatoes broccoli and potatoes all are excellent source of vitamin c that will help them to have lot of vitamin c and keep their a uh, body fight against diseases plus bleeding of gums will be stopped they will be healthy the next which uh, uh, disease is rickets rickets is caused by lack of 
Rickets is caused by lack of calcium. Suppose a person doesn't have a calcium, will not have a shapey body, the bones will be bending here and there, broken bones, all this will happen. Rickett is the weak of uh, bones. See, you can like a rubber, you can bend the bones. If you are like that, you cannot do your normal work. Vitamin calcium is rich in a lot of um, like, you know, meat, eggs and all this. Next vitamin is D. It is a free vitamin. Now the D vitamin is very much helpful to fight against COVID. Uh, D vitamin, uh, you will get a, uh, from um, sunlight. It's a free vitamin you will get from sunlight. The calcium deficiency, we were talking about rickets. Weak bones and weak teeth, all that it causes. Already I told you the rich source, the calcium rich sources is uh, food sources, green leafy vegetables. That's why dairy products, that's why milk and vegetables, fruits always should be taken apart from the meat and chicken. Okay, you the meats are also contain these products, but always try to be fresh fruits and vegetables. Iodine is a disease caused its goiter. It is the neck disease. The neck thyroid gland will be swollen. So the person will have a lot of problem in swallowing. So they have to have iodine rich food. What is the iodine rich food? This uh, goiter affected person, they should have a normal salt. What is a normal salt? Those days they have taken from the sea and dried and get salt that we call it as a rock salt those salt contain lot of iodine nowadays we are getting polished salt see they would have written on the packet iodized salt that is very good and sea fish because it contain more of salt that will help us to rectify this iodine lack in our body so the goiter person should be Take a lot of iodide salt and see fishes. The next, uh, this one I'm going to talk about iron deficiency. It is very common with the children as well as uh, especially the ladies and the MEP. The iron deficiency leads them to be very, very lazy and a normal functioning. They cannot do it. See, it is, we must, if you go to the doctor, the doctor will make you to sit and uh, open your eyes down and see. If it is pale, lack of iron. If it is red, you are having a correct amount of iron. Now, if you have that, you will have the disease called anemia. For that, you have to take iron-rich food. See, lion dates, they will call it as dates, peanuts, resins, greens, and all the meats. You can take it. Now, I want to talk about happy balancing meal. Always take a meal with all the my uh, nutrients like carbohydrate fat protein vitamins minerals roughage all the uh, you see that you include all the vitamins don't take uh, food which is um, which we get fried items from the shops and burgers um, uh, all that which we get from the bakeries it's, it's all not good it's not a balanced diet okay thank you and be happy and safe. Bye.